Welcome to the Love Them Knives channel. How you guys doing today? Hey, we're having fun. Yes, we are. We got it going on. What do you think, Finian? We got Finian. Where's Flanagan? Oh, slacking on the job. Flanagan, our original guy from Northern Ireland. Patty Potato Peeler. His YouTube channel from Northern Ireland. Check him out. The, he sent me this. So this uh, we, I've been jacking with it ever since. It's been fun. Patty's just a super, super guy. And I got this one from Richard Rigsby. He was coming back from Camp Taji in Iraq. And he got, he got flown through. Well, he stopped into, guess where? Yeah, Ireland. And he sent me a picture saying, there's a whole bunch of these crazies uh, on a table here. And I said, grab me one. So he did. Send it to me. He's back home now. Thank God. I'm sure he's happy. Shit, I, I can't tell you how long he was gone. Long, long time. Missed Thanksgiving, Christmas, probably his kids' birthdays, everything. Just so he could be over there in Iraq, Department of Defense, all that kind of stuff. In any case, thank you, Richard. And it was fun talking to him while he was over there, too. I don't know what time it was for him when we were chatting through Instagram and stuff. But he got a bunch of knives. And then he, so he's like, I don't know. Should I hug my wife or go straight for the knives I haven't been able to open for six, seven months? Yeah, that's what I thought. Any case, um, oh, these are Hogue knives, but they're made for Sig Sauer. And that's why it says Sig on the box, manual openers. These are not automatics. This is the X5 Emperor Scorpion. It doesn't say that, but if you go online and look up Sig Emperor Scorpion knives, it will take you to these knives and they actually call that on there. Can't remember where I was looking, maybe Knife Center or something. So yeah, I didn't get these from Knife Center. I think you can also get these from White Mountain Knives if he stocks them. And if he doesn't, you know, click on the contact button at the bottom of his page and say, hey, Justin, can you can you get me these? And I know he's he's got I know he's got access to them. So you can work that out with him. He never says no to me until I ask him something he says no to. <laughs> Which is usually something way too much uh, of a of a an ask to make, but you push him to the edge, push him to the edge. Um, yeah, he's a really good guy. A lot of fun to joke with and do business with. In any case, so these are really cool because you know I've done stuff on the Hogue X5. I've done a video on the Hogue EX01 or EX02. I can't remember right off the top of my head. But, and you know, the X1 Micro and blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, the X5 comes in a four inch blade and a three and a half. The EX models come in a four inch blade or a three and a half. And they can come with G10 scales or aluminum, okay? These are aluminum. This one has a G10 insert in it, this particular one, but some of them don't. Um, and these are obviously coated blades, and some of them don't. And I don't know what the hell. What am I got here? Right on the bottom line. What am I doing here on the bottom of that blade? It looked like it had something on it. Maybe it did. I got some kind of coating still, probably from the the manufacturer or something that needs to be. Probably should hose it down a little bit. In any case, we'll live with it for now. But in any case, yeah, I, this this is a spear point blade. These are button operation, you know, knives. These are button locks. And then they have a lockout mechanism here. So the button is a plunger that will release the blade and it'll drop for a while. There's an internal detent ball and it'll follow that track real easy until it gets to a point where the track starts to disappear. Then you push it and it gets over that, plops in a hole inside. So that's where the detent ball goes. And it, it holds fire until you pull strong enough. 
it'll fire right out. So it's not an assisted opening. There's no springs or anything. It's just a whole different system, which is really fascinating. There's your backspacer. And on both these knives, it's very similar. These are aluminum handles, okay? This one's got room for a little lanyard hole right there. This one has a huge lanyard hole right there. So Alishowitz design, Alan Alishowitz designs. So they're making these for SIG and look at the, in, the, the, the emblems on here in the black. It's just cool looking, isn't it? Now this EX01, it's interesting. They didn't black out the hardware like they did on the X5. Emperor Scorpion. Yeah, interesting. You can look that up. I uh, don't know why they're calling them Emperor Scorpion, except I think they have uh, pistols. I think they have, you know, some of their firearms. That, that's what they're named. So this is kind of their kick for that. I think when I went online, I put, I put Sig Sauer Emperor Scorpion. I clicked and it showed me a bunch of pistols. So there you go. I didn't put knife that might be the final thing to put in there on your search. In any case, so on this, look at the pocket clip, see? This pocket clip was up here. It was. It came to me in a configuration of a tip down carry. I switched it out to tip up, so you can do that. You can go tip up, tip down. You can't go left and right, okay? Only right hand. This one, you can go left and right, but tip up only. Now you see this pocket clip and you're going, you can't flip that here because it's going to go like that, right? It's going to follow the curve. That's why they give you a second a pocket clip in the box. So there's another pocket clip just like this, only it's made for the left hand. So you can do that. Okay. Like I said, this is aluminum with G10. This is a coated aluminum with G10. This is just G10 all the way um actually yes it is g10 all the way did i say aluminum scales on both of these no this is g10 i'm sorry this is all g10 you can see that <sighs> i'm losing my edge don't lose your edge that's my damn slogan i can't believe it no this is this is, this is aluminum that's g10 wow and yeah, they do look very similar, but yeah, there's a difference. Uh, G10 here, aluminum here. In any case, pocket clips are different. This one can be flipped, so they don't have to give you a second one because that makes sense. This one, yeah, this has to follow the contour of the, of the handle. So yeah, they give you a second one. And they give you a pouch, which is floating around here somewhere. A zipper pouch. So you get a zipper pouch with SIG on it, so that's cool. There's nothing really fancy about it, though. There you go. And I, let me check this. I got to check this. Made in Mexico. <laughs> I sold a Hogue knife on eBay. It wasn't a SIG thing, but on eBay. And the guy that got it said, you sold me a fake. And I go, what? I don't even think they make these in, you know, knockoff in China or anything. He says, I checked the tag. It says made in Mexico. Wow. Whew, some people. Oof. I'm sorry. Yes, these are made in the U.S. Not this. These. <laughs> apparently, the, yeah, apparently that's made in Mexico. These are made in the United States. Alan Alishowitz design on both of these. Button lock actuated with the lockout mechanisms that are available on both, right? So, I don't know. I just, I told him, you know what? Send the damn thing back. Um, and he didn't. He kept it. He finally figured out, yes, the pouch is made in Mexico. Sorry. Man, I think Ho got to have them made in the U.S. <laughs> I, I, I had never even checked the tag on my pouches on any of my Hogue knives before. Never even checked them. To, I never checked under that tab. Freak me out. In any case, so here you go. Button actuated. This one's really nice because it's so flickable with the thumb studs and you got ambidextrous thumb studs. Interesting they didn't black out the hardware. Don't know why they didn't do that. I think it would have been better. Because I like this. I think that's better. But, I mean, this is a different, whole different kind of 
blade thing. And you know what? They make these knives in a four inch worn cliff. You can see on the box here. I mean, you can get um, these also in a gray and black with the SIG emblem. And um, they, they're gray and black and they have worn cliff or just a regular spear point like this. But I never saw a four inch of this. And I never saw this in a gray that I can recall just thinking about it. I think it was the X5 type model. But in any case, whatever. You can go type it in, look on a line and see what you see. There's your blade. And see, it says USA. Okay, EX01, Sig Sauer. On this side, this is 154 CM steel. See, that's what those EX01, EX02 came out in. And then the these... It's strange because they changed it up to CPM 154, not 154 CM. So this is that crucible steel. Different, huh? Strange. Don't know why they haven't changed these over to the CPM. You'd think, you know, or, you know, you've got these two different metals you're dealing with. Uh, why? Might as well just go all to one especially the CPM. In any case, these are grippy. And they're like eight in, three and three and a half inch blade, eight inches overall. Both of them. These are not four inch models. I didn't get a four inch model. I didn't really want the gray and black. I thought these really popped. So that's eight inches overall. So that's 90 millimeter uh, blade length and mm, about 21 and a half centimeters overall. And they're both... About the exact same. There's a little bit of difference. Um, there's 90 millimeters, so that's three and a half, and 21, a little over 21 and a half. I mean, 20 and a half. Did I say 21 and a half? 20 and a half. So this is a little bit longer because that was 20 and a half, and this one's not. This is not quite. Eh, just right at 20 and a half. So, I mean, the, e, the, the X5 is just, just a tiny bit longer. Just ever so slightly. But basically, they're the same size knife. Both of them. And I know this one looks bigger now, but in any case, that's the aspect ratio thing. Fancy, get in here. So, they're the same size as a paramilitary, too. Real easy carry that way. You know what? I got this one. Oh no, I put this one on Instagram. So James bought it from me. He goes on Instagram as Gutterman, G U T T E R M A N 2217. So give him a shout on uh, Instagram. And he goes, I like, I want the SIG. I think he's got, I think he told me he has several SIG pistols. Uh, so he's a big SIG fan, and he had to get the companion knife, right? So he was like, dude, yes. And uh, yeah, he loves it. It's going out to you, buddy. I said, I got to put it on camera. And uh, after that, it's all yours. Yeah, I just thought these were so cool looking. I, I like the different iterations they do on the EX-01 and on the X-5 knives. But these just are just kind of total badass. They really are. I, I like the kind of desert coated blade on here. I'm usually not big on black blades. But for some reason, I mean, with that, I mean, I don't know how you do a satin blade with this kind of color combination thing. And then that G-10 is nice and grippy. And, of course, like I said, looks almost like an integral knife with the uh, two halves coming together in the back. How much do they weigh, LTK? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Let's put, the, put it here so you can check it out. Zero. And... Eh, 4.7 ounces, 135 grams. Yeah, it's under five. 
a little lighter. Well, this is a G10 as opposed to uh, aluminum. So, 4.4, not much difference, not much difference, but a little tiny bit. This one, you know, it's not a flipper, it's a flicker, but ambidextrous thumb studs. You know, the Ergos are really good on these knives. I've had an EX-02, I believe, that was a four inch blade. And, uh, you know, you can get these with an aluminum as opposed to the G10. I always thought the G10, I really preferred it. So the one I had was G10 and it was a four inch blade. It was 154 CM. It was really sharp out of the box. And, uh, oh, speaking of sharp out of the box, let's do a little sharpen out of the box. Yeah. All right. That'll work. But I liked it. I mean, I just thought it was so easy to carry, so practical. It's it, This is a design that's really just good in so many ways. Great. I mean, you know, it's high enough grind. You can do slicing with it. You can do piercing with it. You know, you've got this jimping on the top of the blade. So you can get after that. The ergos are good. It's fat enough here. You know, let's try this. Yeah, that's sharp too. You know, this is not as practical a design, but man, it looks so good. Give you a little bit of that harpoon blade. Still a fairly tall grind here. Piercing, slicing. Of course, you got the flipper tab kind of getting in the way, but you got this little choil in there for sharpening and get the rest of you guys out of here. Um, yeah. See that? There's a little bit of a choil in there. So, okay. That'll work. Yeah, I mean, these are, well, let's, let's do this, let's do this. Yeah, about 3.7 millimeter, 3.8 millimeter, 0.148. Overall, can't get it on there. So those are gonna be fatter than a half inch. Yeah, 1.149, so 3.8, somewhere in there. Let's get the calipers out here and figure out what we got. Now, if you go right over that medallion, six tenths of an inch, 15 millimeters, but you get past it, still 14.9, still almost six tenths of an inch getting in front of that. Let's check this out. Yeah, 0.53. This is not as fat in the hand, 13.7 millimeters. So not as, not as big. But it's yeah, it fills your hand pretty good. The ergos are good. Reverse grip. Oh, that'll work. That'll work. Come on. We can get it. And on this one, the ergos are good too. I really like this knife. I, I really like the X5. It's one of my favorites of any knife. Um, yeah, reverse grip's fine. Yeah, it's a good knife. It's just a badass looking knife. I mean, it looks like a shark moving through the water, I think. They should have called it the shark or the Mako or something. I don't know, whatever. But that's, yeah, that's just a bad boy. These are just so practical. It's disgusting. They really are. If you've ever had one of these and just like pick it up, carry it, this is fairly light for a full-size knife. Just easy to put away, easy one-hander. Um, now, what am I hitting over here? And uh, easy one-hander. And, of course, you got the lockout, so you can't disengage. That blade's not going to close on you, okay? You can move that plunger a little bit, that little collar. This thing goes over, see, over that collar right there. On both those knives, it works the same way, but then it drops. Very nice. This one, same way. As the as the, with the lock out there and drops very easy to function but they're not assisted opening and these are not automatics although they make automatics in these so you can look out for that too but if you like the sig line hey 
check it out. I don't know if they make any autos with the SIG emblem on them, but they might. It's possible. I didn't do that much research on them. I'm not that big into autos. Um, I'm just not. I, I don't know. Uh, it's it's For me, it's about the design. These things open quick enough. I don't need an auto. I think autos are slower, actually, overall, than most other knives are. Because, I mean, how can you open an auto any quicker than that? I mean, just my opinion. Of course, I don't want to tell the knife regulators anything like that. They'll shut that down, too. It's crazy. All right, I'm going to let you go. Hey, Finian, Flanagan. <laughs> it's like... Are you playing with dolls all the time, LTK? That's just, they aren't. They're talisman. They're, tal they're magic talisman. They're going to do some more tricks for us in the future. You know, oops, how did that happen? I just woke up one morning and it was just like that. It was blue, but now it's not. See, that's why I keep them around. Because they do a good job. Every once in a while, they get to work and make something magic happen. And we'll talk about that later. We're going to do a Blades We Love Anno video <laughs> one of these days soon. Because we love those blades that we love. And I'm going to let you go right now. But you know what we do around here. We love them knives. So stay sharp.